Sorry about that. That disconnected. Hopefully I can either put these videos together or I'll post them at the same time. Anyway, I was saying these are pretty shiny black beads that are braided. All right. Here we have a costume. Wow. Okay. Um, costume ring. Wish that was real. And that is heavily tarnished, I, but it's not tarnished like a silver. So, yeah, that's not silver, but I wonder if I could clean this up. I don't think it's, I don't think it's silver. The ring itself looks like it could be, but the, no, it's not. Oh, well. That would have been nice. So, oh well. I was I was very hopeful there, as you could see. Um, and this is going to be costume as well. And that's an adjustable costume ring. We've got a pendant. Enamel pendant. It's all chipped, so that's going in the crafter. And I don't think this is going to be silver. This is the necklace that it went on. Um, no. So that's going in the craft lot as well. And here we have some silver earrings, silver tone earrings. Those are pretty. So cute, very modernist style. And looks like we have a watch. And this is interesting. It's pretty worn out, but it's a watch that's on a leather band. And it also has a cross on it, which I've not seen, cross on one side and a watch on the other. Okay, interesting. All right, coming to the end, guys. Here is a silver bracelet, silver tone bracelet. It looks vintage. It's got a fold over clasp. And the center looks very, um, I don't know, tar I would say tarnish, but this isn't, I don't think it's silver. It's not sticking though. Um, yeah, I don't see any maker's mark. I don't see any markings at all. And I don't know. So there's that. Here we have a pair of earrings. Okay, and this must go, so this I guess attaches to your earlobe up there. I don't know, those look like something I'm gonna give my stepdaughter. <laughs> but those are cute. And we've got a pair of earrings with feathers, okay, silver tone, and this just popped out, I don't know what that is, but let me see, um, yeah, don't think that that's anything either. Nope, just a little stud, little costume stud, and a silver chain, let's see, nope, silver tone, it's a nice chain. We've got a stretchy bracelet, and it looks like it's marked with something. 
This is interesting. It's marked with a crown trafari symbol. Um, but I would never think they would make something like that. It might have been originally crown trafari and redone. Where's that symbol again? Hold on. Do you see that? I don't know if you can see it. It's the crown. Um, but it's it's kind of losing its stretch, so that's going the craft lot as well. And we've got this ring, which is heavily tarnished, so and dirty. So that's going to go in the craft lot. This is vintage Ellenville, New York. It says. Interesting. Okay. I've never heard of that. Piddly links. <laughs> okay. So that's um, interesting. I wonder if that could be Bakelite? I don't think so. Not by the way they're sounding. Um, but that is definitely a vintage necklace. I will look that up. And those are little leaves. It's actually very pretty. And it is a vintage clasp. And I've never heard of that brand. It's sticking to the magnet. But that's cute, huh? Interesting looking. All right. I'll put that on the side here. And here is a, um, a heart necklace. I think this is two necklaces, actually, a heart and a star. Okay. So I'll have to untangle that. Let's see if either are going to adhere to this. Nope. Okay, let me get in here with the... Yep, that's 925. I think that's this Thailand. And the heart um, the heart chain is not marked. And the heart is not marked. But um but the star is sterling and so is the chain on the star. And the chain on the star says Thailand, and it's actually a very pretty necklace. All right, I, I would say I got my money back so far on this, um, especially those Givenchy earrings alone. And then I think, you know, there there's the Givenchy um, earrings. I'm not done yet, though. There's a couple more things in here. Pair of earrings, plastic, I believe, and I thought I saw some kind of mark on the post, but it's just chips. Um, I guess these are plastic. These are plastic. I don't think those are Bakelite, but uh, they have a clinky sound when I first opened it, so I wasn't sure. Okay, this is brand new. This is the limited. And that's a brooch, a pretty one. And this must have been, I mean, this is probably not just how they stored it. I think this is somebody's, um, <laughs> this was somebody's. It has bobby pins in one of the um, pockets. So I'm guessing this was somebody's and they just donated the whole thing and um, they just flipped it and sold it without going through it is my guess so um, I think that's what happened here okay this is clearly vintage and on its last legs and these are pretty heavy beads and this is breaking in the lock you can see so those are plastic I think maybe glass okay
And we've got this necklace, which says the limited. And it's a cute little coral colored tassel. There we go. And here we have a necklace. Another tassel necklace, this one in pink. Mm. And these are both the limited. This is a navy colored necklace. This one is a pink tassel necklace. And we're on the last row, guys. So, no idea what this is. Interesting. That reminds me of coral, like the shape of coral. And we've got a bunch of Madonna-like plastic Mardi Gras beads. So that's all going in the craft lot. And then this one is a nice, nicer, um, heavier one, although the lock's a little tarnished, but, um, but those are nicer faux pearls and then a stretchy with pearls. Okay. Thank you guys for joining me. I will use this now to store my jewelry and I can never have enough of these because they go right in my closet and they help me to sort and store. Um, thank you for joining and I will see you next time. Bye. Oh, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you can. Thank you.